There's Cousin Calico's ranch. I can't wait. Let's go, Freddy. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Two, one, three. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Come on. Let's check out that hatch. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, 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 two, two. He did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's wrestlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a blue 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an L on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in, because this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. 
This is the Rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Fish, quiet down or else, or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. Oh boy! See another purple sea urchin! This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away, it's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. Well, hi, kids. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we could borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. round and purple and pokey. Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I was... Watch this, Freddy. I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. <laughs> Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your deck. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some rustlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking a foot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh, I'm sorry, Luther. Wow, that's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. Looks 
like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. It's nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. Boy, Fluke, you must have a really big mouth. Uh, I, I mean, that didn't come out right. That's okay. I knew what you meant. And it is big. That's how come I get to be the town cabaret. Cabaret? What's that? We have plays, singing, and different kinds of acts right inside my mouth. That's neat. Can we see? Well, the cabaret's closed right now. But sure, take a look. Hey, this is neat. Come on, Luther. Let's try this. people see out of these things? Oh, wait, there's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it! But... It's chocolate! Yeah! We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. Good evening, ma'am. Sir. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans and you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need that. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... 
You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> I knew we could do it. It's a great candle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. handle belong somewhere. This could come in handy. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? At last. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to Hermit in peace. Thank you. was yellow, Lothar. Oh, yeah. Hey! A harmonica! Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm. This is harder than it looks. Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim, professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Here, would you like this harmonica? Would I? Woo, boy! <laughs> Well, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. Kobe, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. Hi, I'm Freddie. 
Petty Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm Perry. to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Here. Can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks Mr. Torso! Please, call me Nelson! wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? When I'm going back in, don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! a little big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! That's even better than before! Good! Okay, do you think I look enough like a ruffler? You're very rustly! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh. We did it. We're inside. Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! 
You two aren't rustlers. What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere. Mr. Big will know what to do with you. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew, these are heavy. All right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I... Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. I bet if we attach this hook to the chain, it'll reach those bars. Should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, ready. Fire away. What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around. Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters! That was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. 
I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which? Phil, when we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the wrestlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. You were talking about the note. Well, I... And when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheep music, Sheriff. The sheep music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So I suggested he try singing this little piggy to them. That lot of good that did. Phil, does that mean that you're... You're... I'm Mr. Big. Yes. <laughs> I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand. It's just that I've got 17 children, and I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought Hogfish Ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> it's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh boy! Now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh give me a home. Where the buffalo roam